And people became violent. There was violence during his time. There was chaos during his time. And thou hast sinned. Therefore, I will cast thee as a prophet out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, all covering cherub from the midst of the stones of fire. Uh huh. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold you. Okay, how can God cast Lucifer to the ground if there was no ground? There was supposed to be an earth. Okay, and Lucifer, how can he ascend unless there is a lower level? which is not heaven. So there was the earth, the first earth, and there was Lucifer in charge, and there were people. <laughs> okay, next verse. And thou hast defiled that thy sanctuary by the multitude of thy iniquities. Sanctuary. By the iniquity of thy traffic. This guy was just loitering and moving up and down and <sighs> therefore will I bring forth fire in the midst of thee and so on. And I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. Uh-huh. All they that uh -huh. who are these people? Knowing the devil, knowing Lucifer, they have met him, they have been with him, spending time with him. As their master, he was in charge of humanity. They have known him, they have seen him. Not you, he's not talking about you. You guys don't, you don't know the devil. <laughs> there is a race among the people, not all the people, among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be a terror and never shall thou be any more. So what is he talking about? Look at me now. We are beginning to establish something very, very strong here. Listen. So Lucifer is down here. And there are people and he's beginning now to market himself. If you look in the book of Revelation, that's maybe the last scripture that we have to look at. Chapter 12 and verse number 4. Even from verse 1. Chapter 12. From verse 1. From verse 1. There appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. And she being with child cried traveling in birth and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder again in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and 10 horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Uh -huh. And she what? And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. Now, I'm going to explain something to you now. If you continue reading, you will see very soon, you will begin to talk about another war. With the rod of iron, and her child was caught up into, unto God and to his throne. Okay, verse number six, continue. Want to go? Okay, let's go. Now, 
the dragon fought and his what? And his what? The dragon fought and his angels. I know most theologians would want to say that event is going to happen later and some would say it happened when Jesus was born. I don't want to get into all that as of now because I might have to just sit down in an office and then explain everything to you. Here, I might lose most of you. Understand? <laughs> because there are those that are saying the war that you see happening there, it happened when Jesus was born. Some they say it will happen during the millennial reign of Christ. But listen, it's something that happened that is going to repeat itself again. Because Lucifer, he, ca he cannot be doing what he is doing now if he is going to fall later. The disasters that we see, the crimes that we see, you can't say there is no devil. We are still waiting for the devil to fall. He has already fallen. Okay? And he fell with the third of the angels. So now look at look at this now. Let's say yourselves. Okay, take for instance, like I'm here, right? I wouldn't want to be the devil, of course, but listen, like this is the earth, and this is a city. This is a city. That's a village. That's a village. And Lucifer was in charge. So he would move up and down, go into the presence of God and worship. Right? And after worshipping, he would come back down here because that was his sanctuary. So he would come down here and he was in charge of the kingdom, this kingdom. And that is why he said to Jesus, if you can only worship me, I will give you all these kingdoms which were delivered unto me. So he was in charge of the people. So people knew that we only have one king. A, a cherub. cherub. And there is a sanctuary where we can find him. He was in charge, like a god. And his main assignment was to demonstrate the love of the Father. And he ended up luring the people to himself. So he lured a third of the angels in heaven that supported him in his coup. Okay? That shows you that the devil is not, is not really prophetic, he's not too sharp. Because he should have known that he was never going to be successful. And also the angels themselves, they don't know everything. Because they shouldn't have supported him. They should have known that, no, 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 this guy can never defeat God. So you, that's why we should never worship angels. Because they've got limited information as well, just like you. Okay? Okay? They know a lot. But not like the way God knows everything. That's why you I see angels you. supporting Lucifer. Okay, let's go together. Don't know about No, it does not farm. Bashamar, and the and the and the do our cousin. I'm going to go down. No, this is why you find those angels were misled into supporting the devil's rebellion. <laughs> and Michael said, Okay, let's let's fight. And there was war in heaven fighting against this cherub. And his angels. And they were all cast down to the earth. And there was a celebration in heaven. And the Bible says, Who unto you that are on the earth? For the accuser of brethren is cast to that place where you are. Lucifer now is fallen. Lucifer wawa. Is down here. And God said, still this is not enough. Because when he fell, 
He then started corrupting the people that were there and there was violence everywhere, chaos everywhere and God said, like he said during the time of Noah, God said, I'm going to destroy the earth. Yes. And there was a flood which covered the earth. And during that time there was no ark. And guess the only survivors were spirit beings. Only the devil and his angels were the only survivors. So when the spirit of God was now hovering upon the face of the deep, it was after thousands of years after God had destroyed every creation, except the bow, the earth was still intact. But it was now formless because of the many waters and because of the so many years that it had spent submerged under this, the, the, the waters. So at the same time also the devil was in existence waiting for the next creation. So in verse number two you see God now is not creating the earth. He's now gathering the water. You see, but okay, they can do no the earth. All these oceans and seas that we see. It is the anger of God. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. God is not creating the earth. He is causing the earth to just appear. Gathering his anger to different places. And he called those places seas and oceans. And the earth then appeared. The dry ground. Let the waters be gathered together so that the dry ground would appear. Which means the dry ground was already there. But when the ground was now exposed, you see bones of dinosaurs. Humans that were dead, killed by the flood. 